Portuguese football match between Victoria Guamere CS and FC Porto at the Dom Alfonso Henrique Stadium in Guamares on Sunday, Porto striker Mosa Morega left the pitch in protest after being the subject to racist insults. The Mali forward scored what proved to be the winning goal in the 60th minute and celebrated the goal by pointing to his skin in response to a section of the home fans who had targeted him throughout the match. He was shown a yellow card for the reaction and after the abuse continued, he tried to leave the pitch, pointing his thumbs down to the crowd, but was restrained by his teammates for a number of minutes. Porto coach Sergio Conceição was eventually forced to substitute Marega in the 72nd minute. The league's organizing body, Liga Portugal, condemned the chance but took no further action. Kick It Out, a leading UK organization that works to tackle discrimination in professional and grassroots football, believes racism in the sports is worse now than it was five years ago. According to the organization, reports of discrimination rose by 32% in 2018 stroke 2019 compared to the previous season. This statistic seems near accurate. Because remember, Mario Balotelli slammed Lazio fans after the Italian forward was the target of racism chants in Beresia's 2 1 home defeat. The Syria football match was halted for a few minutes shortly after the half hour mark, while Lazio coach Simone Inzaghi widely gesticulated to the visiting fans to stop. Racism has been a problem all season in Italy with offensive chants aimed at Romelu Lukaku, Frank Chiesa, Dalbert Henrique, Mayolan Pjanic, Ronaldo Vieira, and Kailu Koulibaly, as well as Balotelli. All of the players targeted, except for Pjanic, who is Bosnian, are black, and many of the incidents have gone unpunished. Racism didn't just start with football. It has been in existence since the start of civilization and is still present even though we would like to say it is not. But on the surface level, it has been greatly reduced. Even that is subject to argument. Can racism be truly eradicated from football? It's not good for a white man to call a black man monkey. Racism in football would really require every hand to um, be on deck. It takes the grace of God for racism to be eradicated because it has been in existence for long. I don't think uh, racism can be eradicated from football entirely. If, if they wanted to stamp out racism, they knew it, it was beyond just giving out stiff penalties and all. And even when it's not in football, when you visit countries like Portugal, Italy, they do it freely just because of his skin. It's not good. At least we are human. We are human. We should also just feel like if the white man now is also a black man and people are calling him monkey, how will he feel? We saw what happened to Zidane when he headed um, Matarazzi at the, at the football, um, what FIFA World Cup. I mean, every sector of life, racism ha has always been there and uh, football is always part of it. Right from history to date, racism has always manifested in football. Some of the states in Italy, if you can't speak their language and you are not white, they will use their language and insult you because you, are, you can't speak their language and you are not white. You can imagine if you're, you're in a team and then you're the only black player and then everybody tends to always relegate you, they leave you to do most of the lesser tasks. Didn't make the right call, the, the decision. He should have stayed in the pitch. But the pressure was really much on him. Sometimes FIFA would say, if you walk off the pitch, you get to also get sanctioned and all, but you really can't stand these things. 
it's it gets so bad that the people you look up to to help you fight this cause always want to leave you to like the only tree in the forest. He, he did not actually do the right thing because for him to bring out his middle finger to point at the people watching him is very very bad. He's not he's not even supposed to do it that to, to do that on the field. At least he's supposed to just be outside where people not probably see him but now have to, have to do it for everybody to see it. But it's not good. I expect him to just leave the pitch. He, he does not he, he's not supposed to reply them. You understand? What I expected from him is just to leave the pitch and leave them. He felt the discrimination, the, the pressure of the discrimination, and it was too much for him. He, I mean, at that point in time, he couldn't concentrate on his play in the pitch, so he had to leave. And maybe to confide, like to, to talk to his fellow players so that everybody should just leave the pitch for them. It, it was so embarrassing when we saw Marega's players from Porto trying to make him stay on the pitch when all of them should have in solidarity walked off to show how bad the thing was. The referee, he was just trying to do his job, but uh, it was a little bit harsh. He, he shouldn't have, maybe a warning was okay than giving a yellow card. FIFA last time tried to create a task force that had the likes of Yaya Toure on it, um, Osasu Obainwa on it, and less than two years after, they give the report and what recommendations only to come out to condemn the same committee that they FIFA set up to say FIFA are not even serious about it. If FIFA can place a fine on uh, any club whose fans take such actions to discriminate against colors, then uh, it, it will go a long way in stopping such actions. FIFA should do more to try and see how they can stamp out racism. They have causes, they have lines of um, where they can reach. FIFA is one of the globally recognized associations for football and if they really want to do something about it, they, they, just, they just need to begin from perhaps grassroots, see how they can talk to players, fans, FAs, and not just penalties like sanctions and all, they need to go deep to educate people. Allegations of abuse aimed at Antonio Rudiger during Chelsea's victory at Tottenham saw racism overshadow football. A number of England footballers were racially abused back in March during their Euro 2020 qualifying win against Montenegro. At club level, almost every league has been affected, including all the English leagues where Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Tottenham played. Please leave a comment and subscribe to all our social media handles. Also, click the notification button for more of our videos.